while it's a calm but bit of a foggy start for our first day of March. Most of that though is just mainly for those lower elevations, so especially along the river, so as we look across the Fort Henry Bridge, even through the tunnel, out through Washington Avenue, still seeing some of the areas trying to hold on to that fog, but we're starting, really starting to see it start to mix on out, like even towards Elm Grove just about 30 minutes ago, that was a lot thicker than what it already is. So. The fog, what we've seen, has already hit its max thickness, but as we start to see winds pick up a little bit over the next hour or so, we will continue to see that fog. Mixing on out, should see winds pretty steady between 15, 20 miles an hour through much of the day today. Could see a couple gusts of up to 30 max, but really just expect beautiful weather for our day today. Once we see that fog, mix out thanks to those winds. Otherwise, bit of a chilly start to the morning. 34 here in Wheeling with our warm spot of 35 down to Caldwell and our cool spot of 28 into Cambridge. So might need a coat, especially along I-70, but I would recommend something lighter like a jacket or a sweatshirt as you step out the door this morning, since we will quickly see things start to warm up pretty much into the 70s by the time they get to the afternoon. 70 will be our high here in Wheeling with our warm spot of 73 down in St. Mary's and our cool spot of 66 on up into Carrollton. So pretty much along I-70 and south, expect your highs in the lower 70s. While north of I-70, you can pretty much just expect your highs in the upper 60s. No cooler than 66. And honestly, really just beautiful weather for our day today. Once we see that fog lift, we'll lead to a couple clouds early this morning. Might see a little bit of some mist and drizzle in some spots, but most of us will remain relatively dry throughout the day. Pretty much seeing clear skies as we move on through the morning and through the afternoon. By 5 p.m. though, we do notice these higher, thinner clouds start to roll on in. So still expect plenty of sunshine by the time we get to dinner as well as sunset. But those warmer temperatures and sunshine will allow for a couple showers. It may be a couple rumbles of thunder, especially west of I-77 and south of I-70 to develop, especially later on this evening. This line moves on through, but we'll still see the continuation of some showers until we get to just about 2 a.m. Then we'll see some drizzle with much of that actually pretty much clearing out by the time you step out the door tomorrow. So by 6 a.m., still holding on to some of those clouds, but we do see a little bit of some clearing that could continue to, to give us a little bit of sunshine for our day tomorrow. Otherwise, first two days of March should be very pleasant and beautiful. 70, mostly sunny for our day today. We'll continue with some of that sunshine tomorrow, but those showers late tonight could give us a little bit of drizzle tomorrow morning. But sunshine, warmer temperatures just means we will see the return of some wet weather as we end the week. So expect windy conditions and scattered showers throughout our day on Friday. That wraps up Saturday morning. Mostly cloudy, some drizzle with our temperatures dropping throughout the day before we're back to the 50s with plenty of sunshine for a day on Sunday and Monday, then 55 and partly cloudy for our day on Tuesday.